But when it comes to crystal isles, rat holes are essential for survival. So we proudly present top 10 all time best rat holes on crystal isles. This video is sponsored by my server's Deluxe. Deluxe is a 3x server with 5x patching and 3x experience. Deluxe has 6 man tribes, ORP, new player protection, raid warning, and so much more. Here at Deluxe, we ensure that you have an amazing experience with lag free servers. Servers are now live, link in the description. Coming at number 10, this can be found at 33.5 latitude and 49.5 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this can be found pretty central of Crystal Isles, inside of this little tiny cave. Now this cave offers actually more than one rat hole in here, so you're gonna see a little, probably later on. But anyways, this is rat hole is, it's a nice little tiny rat hole for a solo player who's looking to stay pretty hidden. Now this rat hole is not the biggest and not the easiest to build in, but it does make for a great spot, especially if you can just slap down a good cliff platform or something outside. And, or if you want to stay hidden and maybe just build stuff inside, makes for a great route hole for that too. So if you're solo looking to hide away in a nice kind of colder environment, this is the one for you. Coming at number 9, this can be found at 39.6 latitude and 60.9 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this can be found more right, but more central part of the map. Now this spot can be found over here on this lake. This rat hole is not the biggest, but again, it makes for a great rat hole for a solo player. Now yes, it is a little bit of an awkward spot, but as long as you keep everything on the inside, nobody's ever going to expect there to be a, a, a base here. So this rat hole starts off with this nice little like, kind of tiny entrance that you can really barely walk through. It's very flat in here, there's a lot of room, so if you're looking for a more nice little solo spot that offers a lot more room. This is the spot for you. Coming at number 8, this can be found at 75.3 latitude and 67.6 longitude. Here it is on the map. Now this can be found over in the, I guess you want to call it swampy region of the map, even though it's really not a swamp, it's just a cool looking swamp if that makes sense with a lot of really creepy looking foliage but anyways this rat hole can be found over here so you simply just follow this path as i'm doing here into the waterfall inside of this kind of like hill and at first you really don't see anything because of the, all the fog that's coming out it's making it like everything kind of like invisible but if you come up here onto this first layer of the waterfall you are greeted with the rat hole now this rat hole again isn't the biggest like some of the other ones but it's, an, it's insanely hidden, nobody's ever going to be looking here for a rat hole. And yes, it's not the biggest rat hole, but if you're maybe a solo duo or, or a trio tribe, it makes for a pretty good spot as long as you can put down a good amount of cliff platforms in here. You even have a little bit of water, so if you want to do some like water breeding or so, anything like that, it makes for a nice little rat hole to hide in. Coming at number 7, this can be found at 34.5 latitude and 50.4 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this can be found more central, actually in the same cave as the last one that we did on number 10, I believe. Except the difference between the last one is that this one is much, much bigger. So if you come over here to this kind of side wall piece over pretty close to the entrance and you go up, you're greeted with the rat hole. Now there's a lot of extra outside area. So if you're willing to maybe put some outside turret wall or something, there's a great spot for that too. Now, if you come up here and it's kind of more awkward entrance, you're greeted with this nice little flat area. This is the main area where you're going to be building. So you have a good amount of room in here. Yes, it's a little bit awkward, but if you're a smaller tribe, maybe looking to stay a little more hidden, this makes for a great spot for you. Now, the only downside of this is that there is a second entrance into here, which is just up here. So if you can find a way to maybe wall that off, then you'll be chilling. But 
the spot up here really is not a big issue. I mean, it's just a nice little open area. So you just spend, maybe do like a, like a vault wall drop or something or just a turret tower. But that's really all that you need to live in here. Coming at number 6, this can be found at 51.4 latitude and 73.5 longitude. And then here it is on the map. More towards the right side. Now this rat hole can be found over on the floating islands. Now this rat hole is one of the more hidden ones and is meant for a smaller kind of tribe. So if you're a solo duo or a trio tribe, it makes for a pretty good base location. So you come up here and you're entered with this nice little kind of two-way separation entrance. Which, yes, is a little bit hard to defend, so you're going to have to maybe build on the outside more. But once you come inside and you enter in through this little hallway, it kind of opens up into this nice good sized room. And now the only downside is that the this whole other side is kind of open. So yes, it is a rat hole, but it's also more open. So if you could find a way to maybe defend that, it would make for a pretty good spot. However, if as long as you don't really build it, anything that's hovering off, no one's even going to see this spot. Coming at number 5, this can be found at 45.9 latitude and 73.8 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this can be found in the floating islands on the very bottom level. So make sure to just maybe use like ghost mode if you're on single player or just make sure to come in on that little entrance over there on the bottom layer. Because there's three different layers so you can easily mess that up. So this rat hole can be found over here on the side of this little ramp and it's not the biggest rat hole. It's not the greatest rat hole, but it's pretty hidden and it's pretty far down and kind of hidden back in the cave. So you can just push a, a lot of stuff in there like a turret tower or a turret wall or something and really hold off the spot. So it makes for a good spot if you're a smaller tribe. Coming at number 4, this can be found at 34.5 latitude and 48.9 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this can be found in the middle more towards the top, but again can be found in this little cave. This cave offers, I believe, five different types of rat holes and used to have one of the most insane rat holes, but unfortunately that rat hole got patched a year ago. But anyways, here is this spot. Now this spot is a little one, a little bit more of a tricky spot to kind of defend because it goes down. However, it going down offers this very massive flat area to build really anything that you'd ever want in here, which is going to be super nice. Now, this spot isn't the best, but it is it is in a cave, and if you can just figure out how to build the main entrance, so like a good turret wall or a turret tower, maybe like a tech bubble, it'll work amazingly. Coming at number 3, this can be found at 76.9 latitude and 41.3 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now, this can be found over in the desert region of the map, over near the Wyvern Scar. Actually located on the Wyvern Scar. So, a lot of servers are going to ban this spot, so make sure to check with your server before you build here. Now this spot can be found in the side of this little crack. It's really meant for maybe a solo or a duo tribe. And it kind of opens up into this nice good sized rat hole. Now, yes, it is right next to the wyvern scar, so you're going to deal with a lot of traffic through here. But if you're willing to put up with that, it makes for an amazing spot. Coming at number 2, this can be found at 25.5 latitude and 73.8 longitude. And then here it is on the map. Now this can be found over at Eldritch Isles, which is the kind of creepy looking part of the map, I guess you would call it. It is the spot where before the map actually got fully fixed and officially turned into a map, this is where all the shadow dinos and stuff were. It was pretty cool, but sadly Ark took that kind of stuff out. So anyways, here's the spot. Over by this that giant floating crystal, it, this area kind of opens up into a nice good sized rat hole. Now there is a little bit of a downside in here, is that in this first area, if you're if you're gonna build in here, you have to watch out for the electrocuting things, as you can see like that, because that stuff does hurt quite a bit. However, it doesn't really kill you, it just takes a, your health down about halfway. But anyways, once you come back here, it leads into a second room. And this second room, which honestly, this kind of like electric thing is really good for base defense if you want to put up a, a tower because they got to deal with that and being slowed, which is awesome. But this, here's the second room. Second room is, nice, is like this. Good amount of room to build. I'll put the main base in there. And then you have a third room. Now this room sadly doesn't open up all the way, which does suck. But 
It's a great spot to hide some cryo fridges, a tech jenny, or really whatever you want in the back. Coming at number 1, this can be found at 40.3 latitude and 73.7 longitude, and then here it is on the map. Now this can be found at the floating islands once again. Now this is my favorite spot on this map and has always been my favorite spot since the first day that I found it back in, I want to say 2020 is when this map came out, I'm not 100% sure on that though. So anyways, once you come over here, make sure to go underneath one of the big floating islands and then basically climb up the roots as I do here. Once you climb up the roots, you'll be greeted with this spot. Now this spot is pretty insane. You have a tiny little entrance that opens up into this giant room. Now this giant room is completely flat pretty much all the way around, and even offers this nice spot in the back where you have the crouch to get into, which is over there. This spot has been super popular on Ark, and a ton of people know about it, and it makes for a pretty amazing spot. But anyways, that's it for today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and hit, hit that subscribe button. And also go check out our new servers Deluxe, which just launched pretty recently. But anyways, thanks for watching.